now we have our app running here and uh, just start a new tab uh, leave this uh, running uh, because this ng server will watch our files and when we make changes it will automatically recompile and show in the browser so open a new tab on the same path and open it in the code editor of your choice i am using the visual studio code which look like this and we will now go over the structure of uh, generated angular 2 project um, we will be mainly focusing on the source folder but we have here are the node modules, which uh, are all the packages that we need for our application. In the package JSON, um, Angular CLI automatically adds all the Angular files and all the testing and other stuff. If uh, we want to add some third-party uh, library, we add it here and uh, run the npm install. Okay, this E2E is a folder for end-to-end -end testing with. Um, with the Angular 2 CLI, we automatically su uh, support the end-to-end um, -end testing and also the unit tests. Um, other files are, some are for the um, TypeScript compiler. Uh, TypeScript is a language which we write uh, our Angular 2 apps in. Uh, some are the um, testing configurations and uh, this Angular CLI configuration is here. If you go to the source folder, we have uh, some other files, but we will be focusing on the app folder. This is where our app lives. Um, so Angular CLI automatically generates one component, which is app component and the app module file. Here we import all the components and they get injected in the app. The same goes for the services or some third party stuff. Okay, uh, now we will go first to the app component.ts and we will start this Tour of Heroes tutorial. Okay, the first thing we will do is we will add the Heroes Hero class. So we'll create new class. Export means that we can use it in another um, component. And this hero class will have two properties of type. So one will be a type of number, uh, the ID, and the second uh, will be name of type string. Like this. And now when we create new instance of this class, like um, we will create hero, which is a type of hero, we will automatically get the so the ID we will add number one and the name which must be a string if I write two for example it will complain so the property name is incompatible it's not assigned to the type string okay like this and we will also correct the title of page to tour of heroes like this and when I hit save, our app will automatically recompile and instead of app works, we will be shown tour of heroes. Now let's go to the HTML of this app component and change some things. So we will leave the title and we will add the hero name. So this uh, created instance of hero, we will display it here with this data binding. Here dot name will display name in h2 tags details and we will also display the label for id we will display hero dot id and also we will uh, be able to change the name of our hero here we will use two way data binding so we can use one way data binding like this which only displays our hero but if we cannot change it if we use two-way data binding um, if you are familiar with angular one uh, the scope variable is 
two-way data binding. Uh, we can add it like this, ng model, and uh, the name of uh, our variable, and we will add a placeholder for name, like this. And if we change this name, it will be automatically changed this data binding too. So this is one-way data binding and two-way data binding with Angular 2.